In this video, I'll show you how to make stuff that you probably didn't think was possible in Udio, along with some tips and tricks. Stay tuned to discover them all. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so now let's have a look at something funny. Did you know you can create a stand-up comedy in Udio? Well, you can, and it's pretty good. So I'll show you how to do it. You'll start off by putting in stand-up comedy and voice only in the prompt box. And then I like to use my own custom-made jokes in here. And then you want to make sure you put in hard brackets spoken, and underneath that you want to put in your joke. And then underneath the joke, you put in laughter inside hard brackets. And then if you feel like you've got space for another joke, put it underneath. As Udio only gives you 30 seconds, so just be careful with how many characters you're using. And you want to make sure manual mode is on, otherwise Udio may add some elements that you don't want to be in your track. Alright, so let's have a listen to this stand-up comedy. Ever? Notice how your computer always needs to update at the worst possible time. It's like, oh, you have a big mutation. <laughs> Let's update now and restart five times. <laughs> Remember when we had to wait a week for a new TV episode? Now we get annoyed if Netflix buffers for five seconds. What is this, the Stone Age? <laughs> Okay, that one had some weird sounding vocals in it, but let's listen to the second one. Now, it can take a few tries to get something that sounds good. That's kind of what happens in Udio. You won't strike gold on the first go, but you can if you're lucky. Ever notice how your computer always needs to update at the worst possible time? It's like, oh, you have a big presentation? <laughs> let's update now and restart five times. Remember when we had to wait a week for a new TV episode? <laughs> now we get annoyed if Netflix buffers for five seconds. <laughs> what is this, the Stone Age? Okay, that was kind of interesting as it felt like he actually buffered on purpose when he was saying those words. Like if we go back. Now we get annoyed if Netflix buffers for... See, he put a, um, a gap between Netflix and buffers, and I think that was due to the context of the words, but it actually added to the joke, which was uh, pretty interesting. And here's another one with different jokes in there, and I've actually added in crowd yells as well. So you can experiment with having laughter or crowd yells. Just um, try different things, and you might get different results. So this is what this one sounds like. Hey, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to Laugh at Life. I'm your host. And I'm here to make you forget your troubles. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, I recently decided to get fit, bought a fitness tracker. Three days in, I realized it's just a pricey guilt machine on my wrist. It buzzes more than my mother-in-law, and it's just as judgmental. <laughs> So as you can see, it actually does sound like a comedian performing in front of a crowd. It's really interesting. I actually turned that audio into a video. So I created an image on mid-journey of a comedian on stage, and then I took it into Runway ML and used the lip sync feature in there. And it did a pretty good job. Hey everyone. <laughs> Welcome to Laugh at Life. I'm your host. Now I'm here to make you forget your troubles. Uh, uh. You know, I recently decided to get fit, bought a fitness tracker. Three days in, I realized it's just a pricey guilt machine on my wrist. It buzzes more than my mother-in-law, and it's just as judgmental. I think that's pretty cool. It was a very basic video I made, and you can probably make things move to make it look more natural. I could see these being used for, say, like social media. You, you could post short videos with different jokes and whatnot, and this is just a great way to turn a script into a visual format for viewers. 
And just like that stand-up comedy gig where it was performed with a live audience, you can actually create songs to sound like they've been sung inside a stadium, say. So I've put in live music, rock, and audience into the prompt bar. Put in custom lyrics, so I've put spoken in hard brackets, and then hello London. Hopefully the singer should say hello London, and then hopefully the crowd should make some noise, and then it should kick into the lyrics. All right, let's have a listen. Okay, so that one was very interesting. It didn't put in the Hello London, but I think because I had this crowd yells here above the lyrics, it kind of made the audience sing this, which is interesting. And that's a good thing about Udio. You just keep trying new things and it will surprise you with what it creates. Not every song will come out perfectly, so you do have to do a lot of trial and error, but you can create some really interesting results. All right, so let's listen to this one. My brothers in the fight Bonds that hold so strong Through darkest night and battle's end Our oath will lead us on Okay, so that one, I added in crowd sings and crowd yells here just to kind of emphasize, but it doesn't quite work, but you can hear the crowd singing in the background and it gives it that live kind of music effect, which is really cool. All right, so let's listen to this one. My brother's in the fight. Darkest night and battles and our oath will lead us on The honor that lives forever The vows that steal our might All right, and that was really interesting. The crowd actually sung part of that, but not the bit that I thought it would. And it sounded really realistic, which is awesome. But the problem is it's not that consistent at the moment. But the results are really good. So make sure to experiment with these meta tags if you're looking for a kind of live music sound to your songs. And if you want to turn your song into a Broadway musical, you can. Just make sure to put in Broadway as the prompt. And they work really well. So using the same script from that comedy show, let's have a listen to what it sounds like. Welcome to Laugh at Live. I'm your host, and I'm here to make you forget your troubles. <laughs> you know, I recently decided to get fit. Bought a fitness tracker. Three days in, I realized it's just a pricey guilt machine on my wrist. It buzzes more than my mother-in-law, and it's just as judgmental. And here's another one, but with a slightly different tone to it. Hey everyone, welcome to Laugh at Life. I'm your host, and I'm here to make you forget your troubles. You know, I recently decided to get fit. Bought a fitness tracker. Three days in, I realized it's just a pricey guilt machine on my wrist. It buzzes more than my mother-in-law, and it's just as judgmental. Oh, and as you noticed, the end of that one got more like a kind of live Disney song. I wish there was a bit more consistency with the results you get, but it definitely makes each one unique, which is kind of cool. 
Cool, so you can have a lot of fun with this one. Now that Udio allows you to do 15 minute tracks, I imagine you could do a really good long Broadway musical using this prompt. So now I'm going to show you how to create a cool echo effect in your song. I got Udio to generate this random song for me. And if we listen to the lyrics a bit... Now if I go to Remix, I can change the lyrics, and what I want to do is have Fight repeat a couple of times. So I'll put in Fight again. Here I'll add On, hyphen, On, hyphen, On. I'll add Might again. And let's see how that sounds. So just make note that I'm using curved brackets for these echo and repeat kind of effects. As we only use square brackets like these, for meta tags like verse and chorus and whatnot. All right, so let's have a listen to the updated version. Okay, that fight had an echo there, the on, 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 she repeated. Okay, so here I made a little edit and I put in forever in curved brackets, but twice, as I want to see if it does an echo effect twice after this word. Okay, that was interesting. The timing was a bit weird throughout the track, but it did do the forever echoed twice after it, which was interesting. Now let's have a look at how you can create speeches. I wanted to experiment to see if I could create a kind of motivational speech. I found the best way to do this is add words like speeches and monologue into the prompt box, and then I'll use my own words to put in the lyrics box. So I'll put spoken in square brackets, and I've added in my very short motivational speech. Make sure manual mode is on. Okay, so let's have a listen. You have the power to shape your future, to create the life you envision. <laughs> it starts with a single step, a leap of faith, and the unwavering belief that you are capable of greatness. So. Go out there, embrace your potential. Your dreams are waiting for you. Make them a reality. Thank you. All right, and that sounded really good. It really sounded like a person giving a speech to a crowd of people. So let's have a listen to another version of the same speech. Okay, so this one has the same text in it, but I just used monologue instead of speeches and monologue. So let's have a listen. You have the power to shape your future, to create the life you envision. It starts with a single step, a leap of faith, and the unwavering belief that you are capable of greatness. So go out there, embrace your potential. Your dreams are waiting for you, make them a reality. Thank you. That one was really interesting. It was less of a speech to people and more of a kind of motivational voiceover. So that's really interesting. 
and sometimes it does add some background noise to these tracks. So let's have a look at taking out that background noise so that you've got a nice clean voice to work with. I'll use this website called Clean Voice to take out that background noise of that track and I believe they give you a balance of 30 minutes to use for free. So I'll add in that track, upload it, and I'll go for clean audio and click start. It may take a minute or two depending on how long your audio track is. And it gives you a breakdown of the track itself, so how many filler words, breaths, stutters, dead air, and mouth sounds are in the track. So let's have a listen to see what it's done to it. You have the power to shape your future, to create the life you envision. It starts with a single step, a leap of faith, and the unwavering belief that you are capable of greatness. So go out there, embrace your potential. Your dreams are waiting for you. Make them a reality. Cool, so that turned out really well. So this is a really easy way if you create a track and you want to take out that background noise to just have the voice isolated. Okay, and now let's have a look at creating a children's song. So we'll just add in children's song into the prompt box and then we'll use our own custom lyrics. So I've created a short song about spelling the word apple. So I've got my first verse and the chorus. Now, this is another really good tip. If you want them to spell out the word kind of letter by letter, then just make sure to put a hyphen in between each letter and the singer should spell them out individually. This is also a good tip for spelling out acronyms. Okay, so let's have a listen. Hey kids, let's take a peek at a special word unique. It's round and sweet and oh so mellow Red or green, a juicy fellow A-P-P-L-E That's how you spell apple C Sing it loud, sing it clear A-P-P-L-E, let's cheer! Cool, so that came out really well. As you notice, she spelled out apple letter by letter which was really good, and you could actually hear the kids in the background. This is a really good way if you want to create, say, kids YouTube channels, so you could help kids spell certain words, and I feel like this is a really good method to do that. And you can also create your own art for the song as well. So here I used AI to create this image of learn to spell Apple, and it did a really good job. So you could put this on your YouTube video with the song behind it, and create multiple videos like this for your channel. Okay, so we've reached the end of this video, and I hope you can see the potential with getting creative using Udio. You can create some really unique sounding stuff. So go out there and experiment, and feel free to comment down below with any unique prompts that you've used. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And feel free to click the image on screen to watch a video about how to use audio in painting in Udio. You won't want to miss it.